today's video. We are finally at Ruler Live, just over there in the background. We're a little bit early, but uh, that's absolutely fine because I'm absolutely starving, so I'm going to get some breakfast. Anyway, I'm going to grab some food and then obviously we're going to get in there at 10 o'clock and then have a good old look around. Join me and see what you think. I was only just looking at this place, this hotel's closed down and uh, it is really, really cool. I can't believe it, I was only looking at Google Earth the other day on this. Uh, good pass, that's what it was. Currently looking at the Willier stand at the moment. Some lovely bikes here, but uh, always wonder what a first thing grand bike looks like. Well, there you go, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Although I could cheap out and go for 11,990. Bloody lovely though. And heavy as well. Oh, it's an e-bike, bloody hell. This thing's an e-bike. It weighs 10.5 kilograms and this is an e-bike my god our times have come on it's hard to actually spot it apart from the bottom where you can quite visibly see it so this is an e-bike my god I don't know about e-bikes yet I've always been put off by the weight but 10.5 kilograms you, that's on par with Halford special this is what, nearly 12 grand. Take the 10 grand off, I might be interested. <laughs> that bike there has got air vents on it. Well, so far we've got lots of shiny carbon bikes, all discs, no rim brakes yet. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, what are we going here? Ooh, Canyon. Canyon, the bike I can never ready order online. <laughs> I think out of all the bikes I've seen so far, the Canyons, the uh, Specialized s -Ware behind me, which is just there. Uh, Canyons are nice. I think this Scott is probably the better looking one. See what you think of this one. Uh, I'm quite taken with this. I know I can't afford it. It's probably going to be too much money. It's probably like a small mortgage. No price on it. it means you can't afford it. But that is absolutely brilliant. It's got foil, obviously. <laughs> yeah. 
wonderful, wonderful bike. Although I am looking at all these bikes and I am seeing blemishes. There's scratches on a couple of them. Wheels are a bit nicked. Some of the frames are not all so perfect as well. We've got a Scott Addict here, which is absolutely gorgeous. A little bit fatter than that one, but uh, probably equally as much as expensive as well. But yeah, very, very nice though. Ooh, lovely paint job. Just imagine how much uh, money's worth of bikes is actually here. And we've got, some, uh, <laughs> we've got some groovy little things. This is from Gyro, a new uh, Ethos MIPS helmet. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that's about. What I suppose to be seen is good. Looks like they're having to go with the indicators and headlights uh, with the Bluetooth compatibility on the headset. 240 quid is a bit steep though, but uh, it is good for safety, you'd imagine. It's a good idea, but it's just too much money. If that would be under 100 quid from, uh, from a decent brand like this, then uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, we're gonna go off to the gravel gallery now, and uh, yeah, this looks, uh, this looks like real good fun. Of course, we've got a Willier there, Ray Vesselar. Finally, I found the bike I can't bloody buy. This is the bike what I've had in my basket on the to-do wait list with Canyon for absolutely forever. And it is the Canyon Grizzle, carbon fiber SLX. Uh, I don't think I went for the DI2 model. I think this is probably the really expensive one, but my model was about two and a half grand, I think. Nope, out of stock, my size, but uh, here it is. And uh, yeah, the more I look at it, the more I'm convinced this is definitely my bike. A few other varieties as well, 3T. Looks like it's got a shopping bag behind it. <laughs> it does look like a Tesco shopping bag, doesn't it? <laughs> what on earth is that? It reminds me of being in town centres and you see the bloke with the uh, shopping uh, carrier bag over the seat. Of course, we've got a Cannondale Super 6 as well. I know some people absolutely swear by these. I'm not a big fan, but uh, it certainly is a pretty bike. Yeah, this, this magazine they put out is really good. I'm going to have a good read of it later, I think. Yeah, a lot of nostalgic stuff in here and some excellent photography as well. Yeah, so overall, quite a good event. Quite enjoying it. Lots of eye candy. Uh, plenty of lovely bikes I can't afford, possibly ever. Not even a lottery win. I don't think I'll be tempted to spend £13,000 on a bike. <laughs> I'm just going to nip into the theatre now. I'm not sure. I think it might be Ed Clancy and Matt Stevens. Better be quiet. I haven't had a bit of a taste of the time now. I already know there's going to be nothing, there's nothing that's going to replicate, you know, that feeling once every few years, you know, the stars align. And for some reason, you, you and the boys do get it right. And, um, yeah, that I'll miss. Yeah, that I'll miss. Thank you. Flow because I, there's so many images of you. I think I saw one where you're getting air rode with Flo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Flo is really an adventure dog, also. So she really likes to, to be outside and uh, come with us uh, on the adventures. And uh, most of the times I'm on my bike, and of course it's difficult for her to keep up. So uh, yeah, this is on the gravel bike also. So. Uh, <laughs> Well done, excellent talk, brilliant. Thank and you. Uh, can you say uh, goodbye to all my viewers on YouTube by any yes. chance? Bye bye, hello. Thank you very much for viewing today. If you like what you see, please do click like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.